Hello there, I'm Paul Tranny, and I'm excited to take you through some of the latest updates that we have for Photoshop on the desktop as well as on the iPad. So let's dive right in to the Content Aware Fill improvements. And what I'm doing is I'm just selecting a couple of these birds. I can go to Edit, right down here, you guessed it, Content Aware Fill, that's what I'm selecting. I can come in and add to this selection selecting say most of these birds it's going to start to expand out uh, the selecting area where it's going to pull from okay but once i do that check this out i can go over here and say hey, you know what output to a new layer right output to a new layer and click apply right there so i never have to leave this interface which is awfully nice because if i decide i want to get rid of a flower guess what it's going to sample from a different area Notice how I'm doing that right there. It's gonna sample from the flowers in that area. Let's go ahead and click apply. It makes that new layer as well. We can stay in that interface, click okay when we're done, and we can see those layers right there. You get the idea. All right, let's move on to uh, this lens blur improvements, which are awesome. This was actually done in Adobe Dimension, but take any uh, photo that has a depth map. This has a depth map, which is pretty cool. Okay, and that's as my layer mask. And check this out. We will go to filter, blur. We wanna get into lens blur right here. Okay, so take advantage of that layer mask right over there and we can set the focal point so far this isn't uh, anything new but how it renders it and the fact that it's now doing it on the gpu is huge so again i can click right here it's going to focus on this flower i really have a lot of blur going on here but you can see i can focus on anything and it does a great job of focusing on exactly what we want and notice how i really cranked up the brightness you could really see those colors pop so i encourage you to check it out it does a great job uh, again all on the gpu there's other performance improvements but i want to switch over to the ipad now so here i am in photoshop on the ipad and what i want to do is i just want to add this image to my current composition guess what i don't need to use the lasso tool to select it because you could see select subject in Photoshop on the iPad, selecting that, yeah, guess what? Mask it out, done and done. But what if you actually just want that butterfly? Check this out, that tool right next to the lasso tool, the select subject tool. So now I can just roll over, select the object that I want, as many of them as I want. It does the job. In this case, I'll add a little bit to it right there and mask it out, done. Let's go ahead and shrink it down like so, kind of move it right over there and click done right up there. Okay, so that's looking pretty good. Now we get down to honestly my, my favorite feature. Dealing with type is what I do most of the time and check this out. Look at all of the new type capabilities that we have. Right in here I can kind of scroll through all of this. So this means I can take this word like diversity and maybe take this Y and you know what? Let's do a baseline shift, drop it down. Take this T, let's actually stretch it out and drop it down. But as you can see, I'm just adding some fun diversity to this text. Actually, let's go ahead and baseline shift this down like so. So you get the idea, it's pretty awesome. I could always select all of it and adjust the letting if I want to. Uh, you get the idea. It's super fun what you can do, having that amount of control with type. Go ahead and try out these new features. And these are just some of the improvements in the latest release of Photoshop on the desktop as well as the iPad. Thanks so much for watching.